The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, fourth chapter, text number eleven, given by His Divine Grace, A. C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on August third, nineteen seventy four, in Brindavan, India. Jigatamang Prabhupadante Tang Sukriva Vajami Aham Mamo Bhatmanu Bhattanti Manushya Partha Sadhu Kamri Chaitanya Chaitamrita Sri Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says that Jive Charu Phar Nitta Krishna Das Actually, our position is uh, eternal servant of Krishna. This is our real position. Uh, but artificially we are trying to become master. This is called Maya. Actually, my position is servant. Uh, just like uh, woman, natural position is to remain dependent on man. That is natural position. But if some woman artificially tries to uh, become man or master, uh, that is suffering. Very suffering. Uh, we have given this example that in India uh, the woman, they voluntarily surrender to the subjugation of the husband. But there are many families, hundreds and thousands, they are happy. That's a fact. And in the Western countries, they want to remain independent, so they are not unhappy. This is my study, because I have seen the Western world and the Eastern world. Uh, similarly, naturally, a uh, woman is dependent. Uh, similarly, we are, we are prakriti. Prakriti means uh, one who is controlled, that is called prakriti. And purusha means the controller. Uh, so uh, our position in this material world, that we have revolted against Krishna, uh, why shall I, shall I serve Krishna? Therefore, we are subjugated by the external energy, Krishna's energy, material energy. We are not uh, supposed to be controlled by material nature uh, so that we are now under the jurisdiction of repetition of birth, death, old age and disease. And uh, that is described in the Bhagavad Gita that Najayate Namriyate Vakada Chit. For the living entity, there is no death, there is no birth. But uh, this is something fictitious. Everyone of us experience birth and death. Uh, but the real fact is Najayate Namriyate Vakada. But we, we are so foolish, we do not inquire that in the Shastra it is said that we have no birth and no death, then why I am dying and I am taking my birth? This is our punishment. We are actually, our real considered position is to be controlled by Krishna. But because we have revolted against Krishna, therefore we are servant of Maya. 
servant is my nature. That what is called Vija Thamang Prabhupadante. If you surrender to Krishna, then Krishna controls you. He takes care of you. But if you do not surrender to Krishna, but your position is to surrender, you have to surrender to the laws of material nature and you will become true. That was Vija Thamang Prabhupadante. Mang Prabhupadante. Krishna and Krishna's energy, Shakti, Shakti, Mataya, Abhinna. Krishna's energy is also controller. Durga. Sisti, Sthiti, Pralaya, Sadhana, Shakti, Rika, Chai, Vajasya, Bhavanani, Vibhati, Durga. Durga is the Shakti, external energy. She has got also immense power, sisti, sthiti, pralaya, sadhan. Material nature is very strong, uh, creating, maintaining, and destroying. Sisti, uh, sthiti, pralaya, shakti, saiva. But she is acting under the direction of Krishna. Maya dhakshena prakriti shyati sacharatham. Material energy is very strong, very powerful. You can know that. If there is a storm, a strong storm immediately, so many houses, so many trees and plants can immediately uprooted. Material nature. If there is <coughs> big storm in the ocean, it can inundate many cities, many towns. Material energy is very, very strong. That is stated, Devi Jesha Gunamahi Mamamayada. So we are under the control of the material nature. Here is a scientist, he knows how much we are controlled by the material nature. <coughs> the material nature is also Krishna. Material nature, because material nature is the energy of Krishna. Uh, just like uh, this light, this light uh, is distributing illumination. So this illumination is also light. Uh, the illumination is coming from the light. Uh, therefore, so far illumination is concerned, there is in the lamp as well as in the illumination. So energy is not different from the energy tree. Uh, but if you want to be controlled by the energy, Krishna says, yes, you be controlled. And if you want to be controlled by Krishna, Krishna says, yes. Therefore he says, jiza thamaan prapadyanti. Uh, it is up to you. But you will be controlled. There is no independence. Uh, there is no independence. Any control. That is your nature. He cannot be controller. That is not possible. Either you be controlled by me personally, or you be controlled. Just like in government, a person may say, I don't care for government. I don't like government. That you can say, but you are controlled. If you go against the government, immediately you will be arrested and put into the jail. You will be controlled. You can say, like a madman, that I don't want to be controlled. I don't care for government. That is not possible. For Deja Thama. If you want to be controlled by the prison house, then Krishna says, yes, you be controlled. And if you want to be controlled by the civic laws, uh, that also you can do. Jiva thamaṁ prapadyam tevita saṅsa-sīva yāma mamo vartvānu vartvāṁ But practically, uh, Krishna, uh, so far those are transcendentalists, uh, they uh, want to be controlled uh, by three phases of Krishna. Brahma, Paramatma, and Bhagavan. Uh, those who are impersonalists, they 
uh, want to be uh, merged into the Brahma effulgence, that is also acceptance of being controlled. It's like if you march into the uh, ocean, they give this example generally. So they think that by merging, by dipping into the ocean, they become also ocean. That is not possible. Uh, you become controlled by the ocean. Suppose you deep, uh, dive into the ocean. Does it, does it mean that you become ocean? And you become controlled by the ocean. Uh, they are under the impression that I am now small drop. So if I march into the ocean, the uh, Brahma, then I become Brahma. Uh, is that a uh, very reasonable uh, proposal? You are a drop of water, scientifically, what is it? Suppose a drop of water is mixed with the sea water. Does it mean the drop becomes sea? What is your scientific explanation? It is also, eh? It has become part of the sea. Part, remains part of the sea. The part of the sea, oh, it was. Uh, and it remains part of the sea. Uh, there, sea water means composition of so many molecules of water. What is that? Uh, so how the molecules can become the whole sea? Uh, <coughs> Therefore, in the Bhagavad it is said, Jannir vinnaka vimukta manina tayyasta bhavad avushuddha buddha. The Mahavadi philosophers are thinking that being merged into the existence of Brahma, I become Brahma. No, this is wrong. We cannot become Brahma. You remain the same. Uh, the example is given <coughs> just like a, a green bird enters into the green tree. It does not mean that the bird is mixed. No. The body is keeping its independent as, is, as an uh, individual. Uh, but it appears to others, those who do not see properly, that it has merged into the tree. Uh, it is actually not merged. And because it does not merge, therefore they fall down. They can come out. Uh, that is explained in Srimadha Bhagavatam. That jannera vindaka vimukta manina, vimukta manina, that thinking now I have become one with the Supreme. But actually there is a false impression. Manina. Manina means actually it is not fact, but he is thinking like that. Vimukta manina. Why is thinking like that? Abhishuddha buddhaya. His knowledge is not perfect. Abhishuddha. Vishuddha means perfect, and Avishuddha means not perfect. Unnecessary is thinking that I become one with you. I remain the same part and parcel, as Krishna says, Mamani Vāṅsa Jīva Bhūt. That's like a big bag of rice, and you put one grain of rice. It remains one grain, but it appears that it has become one with the bag. That is not possible. Uh, therefore, Bhagavad says they think like that, but actually it is not the fact. And if you question why they are thinking like that, Abhishuddha Buddha means intelligence is not very sad. Jannir Vinda Kubi Mukta Manina Tai Asvabhavad Abhishuddha Buddha Arudya Kritchena Arujakrichena parang padang tata patantiyada. These Mahabharis, they undergo severe penances for becoming merged into the uh, supreme effulgence, Brahma effulgence, uh, Sajidya Mukti. Uh, it is also not easily obtained. It also requires. So therefore, Arujakrichena. Hmm. By undergoing hmm. 
Aridhya Kritchena by severe penances and uh, exercises, uh, the, 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 the yogis, they also exercise. Uh, Aridhya Kritchena. Kritchena means severe practices. So they reach, they realize Brahma, uh, but after realization also they fall down. Arujya Krishna Parang Padam Tata Patanti Adha. Because there is no shelter. Uh, I have given several times that example. Just like if you go high uh, in the sky, but if you don't get any shelter, then you come back. Just like the people are going and the moon planet. But because they actually do not get any shelter, they are coming back again. Uh, so that is the position. Uh, simply by uh, worshipping impersonal Brahma, uh, after severe penance and austerity, he can enter into it, but he cannot remain there because there is no ananda. It is simply eternity. Uh, but we are actually eternity, bliss, and knowledge. Very small portion. Simply eternity will not satisfy. So eternity also uh, part and parcel of Krishna. So you can enter. Krishna has given you freedom. Therefore he says, this is Thamang Prabhupada. If you want to into the merge into the Brahma Ipalya, that you can do. Uh, or if you simply want to realize uh, the uh, Paramatma, localize, that you can also do. And you can do also. Uh, uh, come to me, uh, just like uh, Bhagavad Gita says that janti deva brata deman pitrin janti pitri brata bhutani janti bhutani mat jarino bhi janti ma. Uh, so if you want to go to Krishna and directly serve Him, associate with Him, that also you can do. Uh, everything is open to you. Dija thamaan sapadjanti. The materialists, they are surrendering. To the material nature. Uh, that also Krishna says, yes. Uh, they are uh, working so hard day and night to gain uh, material profit. Krishna says, all right, you can get it. Uh, that is also possible. Uh, but actual instruction of Krishna is that sarvadharman paritajya mamekam. You just personally and to me surrender. That will be beneficial. Not that everything is Krishna. You can surrender to so many uh, manifestations of Krishna. Uh, nothing, uh, uh, anything you uh, experience that is Krishna's energy uh, that is not divine from Krishna. Uh, that is uh, the conception of oneness. Uh, Krishna is expanding himself uh, by his uh, plenary force, and we are also Krishna. We living entities, being part and parcel of Krishna, we are also Krishna. There is nothing but Krishna. Now it is up to you if you want to uh, surrender yourself to the Krishna's energy, you can do, if you, can, if you want to surrender to the Krishna's expansion, that also you can do. Uh, if you want to uh, surrender to the <coughs> Brahma, the Father, that is also Krishna. If you want to surrender Paramatma Vita, that is also Krishna. And if you want to surrender Krishna directly, uh, that is also Krishna. Hmm. So uh, the Mahavadi says that whatever you do, you uh, reach to the uh, Supreme. But you reach to the Supreme, uh, that is all right. But supreme is variety. Uh, so one variety. Suppose if somebody uh, comes into this house, uh, if he enters to the uh, laboratory, uh, that is also house, but that laboratory is not the sitting place. This is variety. Uh, simply by thinking that now I have entered the house, uh, my business is finished. You have entered any any position you have already entered. 
because there is nothing but Krishna. Ah. But if you be satisfied by entering into the privy, that now enter the house, uh, that is not very good intelligence. <laughs> that is not very good intelligence. Uh, you cannot say that the privy and the duty room or the sitting room or the kitchen, uh, these are varieties. Uh, you cannot say by entering into the privy, you, you think that I have entered the duty room. This is a common example. Krishna is variety. This Athamang Prabhupada means there are varieties of Krishna's manifestation. Krishna is there. Krishna personally is there. At the same time, Krishna energy, there are varieties. Parasa Shakti Vividaiva Sriyati. Krishna is one. But his energies are multi different energies. So you can take shelter of different energies or Krishna directly. The best thing is to take shelter of Krishna directly. That is intelligent. Therefore Krishna says, Karva Dharman Purita Mahami Sankara. But we are preferred to take shelter of Krishna's energy. That is also external energy, this material nature. Ah. So Krishna has given us chance. You can work hard in this material energy, but that will not help. Ah. Therefore, those who are devotees, they also take shelter of Krishna's energy. That is internal energy, not external energy. Ah. Internal Mahatmanustamang Pratha Dvaibi Prakriti Masi. Dvaibi Prakriti means internal. So our business is that uh, we have to take shelter. Instead of taking shelter of the external energy, that is also Krishna. There is no doubt. Uh, Krishna is Krishna energy, non different. But uh, that, that is not uh, very uh, beneficial to us. We have to take shelter of the Internal energy. Mahatmanasta Mahaprasa Devi Prakriti Mahatsita. Devi Prakriti means internal energy. And Srimati Radharani is the uh, symbol of internal energy. Therefore, we take shelter of Srimati Radharani in Vrindavan, and uh, that is our perfection of life. Then, it will be easier to associate with Krishna uh, very easily. That should be our motto. Vija Thamaṁ Prataddhanti Thāṁ Sukhiyo Vajāmaṁ Here we say, people who are attached to the bodily construction of life are so absorbed in materialism that it is almost impossible for them to understand that there is a transcendental body which is imperishable, full of knowledge and eternally blissful. So we have now surrendered to the bodily concept of life. We have to understand, therefore, what is our spiritual life. The Bhagavad-gītā teaches in the beginning that you, you have surrendered to the body, but it is wrong. You will never be happy. But if you remain controlled by the spiritual energy, by directly being controlled by Krishna, not by his energy uh, or by his internal energy, then you will be happy. Uh, that is the ambition of persons who are in Krishna. Thank you very much.